Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Behind The Reel. I'm your host, John. Today we've got another Humminbird video for you. This is something all of you Helix users don't wanna miss out on. I'm gonna show you right now my top five favorite shortcuts on the Humminbird Helix. Before we get today's video kicked off, I do want to shout out today's sponsor, and that is Beard Unlimited. They've been supporting local kayak fishing for years now, and this is something that I definitely have worked into my daily routine. If you guys are looking to have a healthier, fuller beard, make sure you check these guys out. Go over there and use code BTR15 to get 15% on your next order. Go get you some. We're gonna go over my favorite shortcuts and the first one I'm gonna show you guys here is the views button quick menu and what you do if you hold down on the views tab you actually have access to a few different options here. So you have sonar, you have chart, you have system. The one that I use this the very most for is system and system status. This is where you're gonna go if you want to see how many hours are on the unit, if you wanna see what type of software you have. Maybe you don't even know what model or what generation of unit you have. This is gonna be a real easy, quick way to get to this menu. Before, I really wasn't aware of this menu, and what I would do is I would have to power up the unit and go power it up inside of uh, demo mode or something like that. I can't remember exactly what that was, but that was how I was accessing this information before and then you'd have to power the unit down just to operate it as, as normal. So if you want to access the system status menu, this is how you do it and then you can just exit out of it and then continue to use the graph how you were. So if we want to go back to that menu, long press the views button, we can go to sonar and we can go down here and see all of the different sonar options that we have. And this is just a quick, easy way to get to the sonar tabs that you have visible. They have to be visible to show up here, but if you have them visible, they will show up here and you don't have to scroll through the views tab. So this is another way to cut down the amount of time that you're spending operating your graph and you're just gonna become more efficient once you learn how to use these little shortcuts. So this is another great shortcut that is accessed through this views button. Now the last one is our chart and we can go under here and access all of the different chart screens. So whether that is a split screen between these different sonar options or we just have our different chart views, it's just a quick way to get to that screen that you're looking for. And that is all done by long pressing the views button Okay, the next one that I wanna talk about is going to be short pressing the power button. If you long press the power button, it'll power the unit down. If you short press it, it'll pull up the, these couple quick options here. So we can turn our sonar on or off. We can adjust the lighting, which we've kinda of talked about that before in other videos, but you can adjust your lighting manually, or you can come down here and turn night mode on or off, okay? And you're gonna you're gonna do that in like low light situations if you're out early in the morning or late in the evening in order to be able to see your unit and not have it blind you. You know, so kind of one spectrum or the other. Either you have a tough time seeing it or it's so bright that it's kind of blinding you. And then the other option that we have here is standby. So if you want to just conserve battery power, you can go to standby. As you can see, the buttons are still lit up over here. Hit our short press our power button there, and then it'll power the unit up like normal. Another quick, easy shortcut that you guys are going to wanna to become familiar with is learning how to set your shortcut keys. On these smaller units, you've got three of them. If you end up with a Helix 15, you're gonna have six of them, so you'll have a bunch of different presets that you can save. So let's say you wanted to save this as one of your three presets. You just go to whatever screen you wanna set, and you will hold down on it just like you're setting your favorite radio station on your stereo. So that is a super easy one, but it will help you become more effective and help you navigate this unit easier. If you find yourself pulling up the same screen over and over again, you definitely wanna set that as one of your shortcuts. All right, here's another little shortcut. We're running our simulator right now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But this is gonna be the little check mark here. And once you press that, if you're on your side imaging, for instance, it's going to toggle between all of the different frequencies. So you can see right here on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, we're shooting 405 to 505 kilohertz. We press it again, it's gonna bump us up. And we've got 780 to 840. 
and then we bump it up again and we're back to our mega plus frequency. This is something that you guys are going to use out there on the water. You don't have to hunt for keys. It's right here available at any moment in time. If you are controlling the side imaging or the down imaging, all you have to do is press that check mark and it'll toggle between the different frequencies. All right, so here we have our down imaging. We're going to try it here. And you see the same thing, 420, 800. And then we go back up to our mega plus frequency. So hit that check mark button. That is an awesome shortcut you don't hear many people talking about. All right, this is a cool little shortcut that you guys might want to take advantage of while you're out there on the water and you're marking a cool looking brush pile or maybe you have just a, a really cool image or maybe it's something that you want to save because you have you know like the waypoint pulled up and also your side imaging showing something uh, whatever the case may be if you guys want to save a screenshot this is something that you can do right out of the package you don't need to do anything special you just need to have an SD card in the unit it's got to be 32 gigs or smaller but if you do when you hold down on the mark button you're going to be saving a screenshot. Now, once you get to the screen snapshot view, you can actually choose to go look at these screenshots later on. So if you mark something cool that you want to come back to, as you can see in this one, we were seeing some bait fish and uh, we saw some fish hanging out on the end of this little rock ledge. And we can sort through and just see whatever images, good or bad, that we saved and so this is a cool opportunity for you guys to go back and really kind of figure out what kind of bite you were on so you might have something like this where you can see the chart screen on one side and you can see you know you're down in 2d on the other side so you can clearly see this was a brush pile that was holding fish we were in 15 feet of water and you can really see with the contour information what all was going on and it really does paint a more accurate picture if this isn't something that you really were able to dial in on the water it's something that you might want to go back to later on down the line and that's the coolest thing about marking these screenshots is it'll help you kind of put all the pieces of the puzzle together all right guys those are my favorite shortcuts these are ones that i use on a daily basis when you're out there on the water these are things that you're going to definitely use and sometimes you're going to need some of these shortcuts even off the water so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you want to learn more about these units check out that hummingbird playlist if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button we've got more content coming just like this appreciate you guys and we'll see you on the next one